what's good model babies welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing another cook with me video as suggested because um you guys really like my other cooking videos so i'm gonna just keep doing these i'm gonna do a little series with them and yeah so today on the menu we have cabbage baked macaroni and honey barbecue glazed chicken fingers chicken tenders whatever you want to call them so um that's all we making today nothing crazy but something good you feel me something that's gonna fill you up okay, so i'm gonna just show y'all the ingredients real quick the ingredients for the macaroni i'm using these curly noodles because i don't know the curly noodles just oh my gosh just so much better so y'all trust me on that. then for the cheeses i'm gonna use for the macaroni i'm using this white oat cheddar cheese in this brand i got this from um walmart um this cheese this is also yeah extra sharp cheddar cheese right here and then i'm using this wegmans brand of sharp cheddar cheese and some velveta this velveta is open but um i'm gonna use a little bit of this too and of course i have a cabbage that i got from wegman and this is the chicken that the chicken tenders i got from wegman so y'all could really go whip this up real quick you feel me so i'm about to show y'all how we how we gonna do this? Let's go. No, we gone. So first y'all know we gonna start out with cleaning the meat and placing that right on a cutting board. So I had a cutting board right here and then I'm about to clean the meat off. I pretty much just pull like the nasty pieces off. Anything that looks weird to me and just nasty to me, I'm just taking that out. And then, ooh, that's hot. And then I'm rinsing it with cool water. Place it on the cutting board. So now I'm just taking a couple of paper towels to pat this chicken dry. Can't have no water be old, you know. We gotta get that seasoning on it. So I'm just drying this chicken. Just say you will, will. water boiling for the noodles um, like at six and a half a little bit over medium so we got the chicken right here let me move all of our other ingredients can't cross contaminate you feel me all right so right now i'm just about to cut up the cabbage
quick so that I can use it for the macaroni cheese so that we can have everything already prepped and good to go. Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat and we can ride the book and share that heat of love. I want to ride. For the macaroni, so that we can just sit this on the table and get this out of the way for when we're cooking the chicken and all that. So, first, I'm starting with this um, the white cheddar, the white oak cheddar cheese. You don't want to cut these into too small of pieces, you know, because you don't want your um, you do not want your liquid to be all like watery. You want it to be kind of thick for the macaroni. So I'm cutting these ones into like chunks. sharp cheddar cheese these are how thick like I have the slices they shouldn't be too thick and they shouldn't be too small you don't want small pieces at all when you're cutting up your cheese from actually dishwasher right here I gotta dump these in the pot because the water is boiled right now. So. So now we're gonna do the sharp cheddar cheese. And then last we're gonna do the Velveeta. Watch at the end of this video, y'all gonna be looking at my macaroni like, hey, like, I need some of that. And then last we're cutting up the Velveeta. You don't need too much of this because you already got like three blocks of cheese plus the shredded cheese. So you don't really need too much. To be exact, I'm going to use like four ounces, okay? I'm using four ounces of the velvet. All the cheese for the macaroni. Y'all see how thick the cheese should be. There you go are not done and in case y'all was wondering i do just have the cabbage sitting on the stove right now because it's not time for that to cook once the chicken fingers are getting done then it'll be time for that to cook so i'm just put a cover on it and keep this sitting on the stove them noodles are not done yet so for now we're just going to prep for our chicken um, i'm gonna grab like three bowls one bowl for the sauce that we're going to use. We need one bowl for the flour and cornstarch. And yeah, I'm going to actually grab two bowls on that note. So I'm going to get the ingredients out for the mix really quick. And y'all going to see. Let's go. Let's go. Now 
Now, when y'all cooking y'all noodles for the macaroni, make sure they kind of hard, kind of soft. Just make sure that you can squish them. They should not be so soft. That's disgusting. Your macaroni is going to come out mad squishy and mad mushy and mad nasty and just soggy. You're going to have soggy macaroni. So make sure you do it right. I'm letting the water run over the um, shells really quick. And I'm going to make this mix right here for the chicken. I'm going to put the mixture in here. I'm just pouring hot sauce. You don't need too much of the hot sauce. I put like this much in here. It ain't too much in here. I'm gonna add heavy whipping cream. Oh my God, eggshells just fell out. And then I'm gonna use like three eggs for it. Oh my God. Y'all, y'all see how that was a perfect crack? Look at that. Anyways. I never made this before. I'm just making stuff up. So, I'm about to season this. I'm going to put like a little bit of this. This is the onion and herb seasoning blend. I'm gonna use some pepper, of course. You have to have salt and pepper in it. Some pepper. I'm gonna put some salt. I'm gonna put this honey hickory rub seasoning in here. don't want too much in here because the cheese will melt itself and turn into like a liquid so you don't want too much milk or too much heavy cream in here so I'm just adding a little bit just so that the cheese ain't stick it to the bottom just for that when it's time to start it you know I didn't pour too much in here just because we don't need it cooked yet, but we're gonna cook it a little slow. So I'm putting the oil on one. Make 
sure all the water is out your nose because yeah, you don't want no salty nose in here. And I'm gonna just add however much can fit into this glass pan. So the flour. So now we have both of our mixtures for our chicken. So I'm about to season this. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna season this with pepper, parsley. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where my parsley at? My parsley over here. Now I'm gonna add like one little block of butter to the middle of this.
are done. They look so good. Basically, everything is done. So the food is finally done, y'all. This is how it came out. Looks really good. Um, I'm gonna try some. I'm about to go bring my mom her plate, but I'm about to try some so y'all can know what it's tasting like. Um, let me take a video on my food. So y'all, let's taste the macaroni first. Let's taste the cabbage. Mmm. The cabbage is the perfect like texture. And I don't even like cabbage like that though. Let's taste the chicken fingers. So listen up man. This is what I'm gonna try to go do right now. I'm gonna try to go make this meal. Watch this video over and make this meal because it's too good and I wanna share it with y'all. So y'all, use the same recipe. Man, I'm telling y'all, this right here, not even boosting it. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This food is really good. So, if y'all like this cooking video, if y'all enjoyed it, watch all the way through, please give this video a like, comment down below, let me know what else y'all want to see me cook, if y'all want to see more of these videos, and I got y'all. So, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.